What's going on guys? Stein back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a book review on the book Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins. I'm really excited for this video because, wow, this book is a life changer. And if you don't know who Anthony Robbins is, Tony Robbins, he his living is changing people's lives. And that's exactly what I want to do for you guys on this channel. That's what this channel is based upon all right how do we change lives what is the best way to think of solutions for people instead of thinking of problems okay so <clears throat> the very first thing obviously i want to start off with is just the mindset that he has on this is the very main very first main lesson or not the very first the, the number one main lesson in this book is is everything you think about it's literally you either are thinking positive or you're thinking negative. And that's the number one lesson is to always think positive. Now, obviously you can hear that and just, okay, I'm going to think positive from now on. I'm never going to think negative. Okay, great. But if you look at this book, I don't know if you can see that. You see all those folded pages right there. I have folded almost every single page because of how valuable this book is. So no, it's not just I'm going to think positive and I'm not going to think negative. It goes way deeper in that and other things that you can like little things that, that that you do just to to put yourself in a put yourself in a better state that's what he talks about in this book it's putting yourself in a better state that allows you to think more positively so he talks about the five sentence the five senses seeing hearing tasting smelling and touching so for those five senses he talks about putting yourself in a psycho uh psychology not psychology physiology state like how you're sitting how you're how you're speaking how you how you hear things things like that so he's basically saying perform perform whatever it is you want to do perform that exercise as if you already know how exactly how to do it and you are doing it perfectly i'll give you an example like making this youtube video if I would, if I was talking like I had no idea what I was talking about, I would probably be talking like this and looking down and, but no, this is good book. It talks about putting yourself in a state that allows you to elevate into higher levels so you can raise up, you can put yourself in a better state, and this allows you to put others in the level, in a better state. This book is a byproduct of of the his his best book is awaken the giant within by tony robbins this book is is just as good i would say um but awaken the giant within is definitely his best book um and that's brandon carter rates that number two out of his top 20 books of all time so obviously that's that's a good thing because it, it's all it's all within yourself and change your state change the way you think of things it's literally that's all it is 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 how you think of things. If you think of them as a positive state, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get. If you think of negative, that's also what you're gonna get. What you're gonna get. So I just had to open the book right now. 1986 is the copyright date. So obviously this book is quite old compared to right now when I'm publishing publishing this video here in 2022. It is quite old, but all of everything in this book is still relevant. Like it's still, it's still. Um, the information is here like obviously you can get a lot of information from social media i've talked about this before but but books like andy Priscilla's 75 hard program you read 10 pages of a non-fiction personal development self-help book non-fiction book you read 10 pages of that every single day and i always kind of question okay why am i reading 10 pages of a book when when i could easily be you know doing something else but the reality is we all have time for for things like this and that's just being ignorant it's just being ignorant like you have time to read at least 10 pages every single day of a book so you can learn new information and you can grow as a person that's another thing i, sh I wrote in this book is like uh that he says the road to uh construction the road to success is always under construction so you're never going to get there you're never going to be on top per se you're never going to you're always going to be working you're literally going to be working until the day you die and that's the mindset that that will get you to advance because i have a quote that uh forgot who I, I looked it up one time who says this but um 
The quote is, if you're not growing, you're dying. I forgot who said that. I can't think of their name right now, but if you've seen the Shawshank Redemption, and that is a movie, that's a movie, there is a quote in that movie that says, if you're not, get busy, get busy living or get busy dying, dying is the quote. So you either get busy living or get busy dying. So that's basically what I think of this book. You know, you're either living or you're dying. You're either thinking positive or you're thinking negative. Like that's literally life. That's like, that's life as you know it. You think of things in a good way or you think of things in a bad way. And that's like the big, the biggest lesson that you can take away from anything in life and i just like that's why i think this book is like the number one no one of the top i would probably rate this one of my top three books that i've read of all time because of how much it impacts you like i've talked about this before having a daily routine i made a video on your daily routine but like this book literally he talks about okay what's your ideal day look like so I literally, I, I think I originally got this from Awaken the Giant Within. The first, very first book he's, he, he outlines, he says, okay, what is your ideal day going to look like? Like, what are, what are you going to do in that day? And I basically, I planned it out. I wrote it in my phone. What I wrote exactly what an ideal day would be like in my phone. I have it exactly in my phone of how I want it to look like. And that's, and that doesn't matter what you're doing. Like what, if you have school, if you have work, whatever. If you have a nine to five, like you do the thing, like you have your ideal day planned out, even if you're in your nine to five, like you can still have your ideal day planned out. And over time, this, it'll becoming clearer and clearer and clearer. It talks about two. I mean, we all know this consistency, 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 just doing the same things over and over and over. And a lot of people think this is boring. It's not boring because in my mind, if you're not growing, you're dying. And that's 100% the truth. Like, if you're not growing, you're dying. So I want to improve. I want to get better. And sometimes that is going to require doing the monotonous tasks over and over and over again. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way life is. And I want to live a good life. So that's why I read this book, Tony Robbins. He's probably the number... He's changed more lives than I don't think anyone can think of. And that is the number one stressor is living a better life on this channel. Like I want to live a good life. Like I don't want to live a bad life as I'm sure a lot of you don't want to live a bad life either. So that's why I'm putting this information out there for you to, to like, you know, read this book. Like it is a good book. It, I, you can get discouraging reading the copyright date of 1986, did I say? Yep, 1986, but it's still, it still can be relevant. You can still use this information to this day and age. And the number one book, How, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence Be People, Brandon Carter says that's his number one book of all time. That, that information can still be implemented to this day and age. And that book was published in like the early 19, night like 1940s, I don't know, something like that. Something long, long years ago. And that information is still relevant to this day, just like this book is to this day. And now, obviously, I've talked about before, social media can t take over, like, reading, stuff like that. But in my mind, if you read this information, you're putting positive thoughts into your brain. That's what this book is about. That's what any book, any book puts in positive thoughts and, and allows you to think at a deeper level. It allows you to gain more insight, gain more knowledge, learn more information. Think of think of solutions and not think of problems because everyone's always wondering how can I do better. That's what I'm always wondering at least. And the more you learn, the more you earn. Warren Buffett says that quote. So learn as much information as you can. I'm telling you, this is probably I don't know. I said it was top three. I would put this in my my top five books of all time. Um, but I'm for sure. I would for sure put Awaken the Giant Within above this book because it's newer and. He goes into more depth, like that book. I, I mentioned this, Brandon Carter names that his number two book of all time. And I keep mentioning Brandon Carter because he's a person I admire and a person I follow. A person, he also has a YouTube channel. He has a top 20 books of all time. I've watched it before, as I encourage you to, to do as well, because I am going to read all of those books. Um, so yeah, this book, like I said, however many folded pages i have do you see all of these folded pages just a ridiculous amount because i 
because like I have I have something underlined in literally every single page of this book that I have something underlined in. That's what I encourage you to do when you read books is to underline things, highlight, circle. It engages you more when you read instead of just to read it. You can just read it, but um, but yeah, this is it's gonna improve your life. It's gonna make you better. I don't read fiction books. I only read nonfiction books. I want to make my life better. Fiction is fake. Uh, nonfiction is real. So this is real. You can immediately. You can immediately implement this into your own life. If you read this book, you can immediately do exactly what he says and do exactly what he says and you're going to see results. You're going to see your, your life improve. And that's, that's what it's all about is improving your life. We want to improve our lives. That's the video for today. Like the video, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and we will see you in the next one.